What's up, Beach Bums? Today I'm giving away an awesome secret to help you catch more Pompano. If you follow my Facebook page, you've noticed recently that we have been catching a lot of pompano. I haven't done too many videos, so if you just follow me on YouTube, you probably don't realize how many pompano we're catching right now. But you Facebook followers, you guys know, you see the pictures, we're catching just tons of them every day. And something that I've noticed, and I've kind of mentioned this in a couple of posts, is that there are people usually fishing on either side of me, and they're not catching any. And we're catching seriously 10 to 30 pompano in an outing and when we're catching that many and a lot of these guys they're using the same baits and the same rigs or at least similar rigs and i'm thinking you know they should be hooking up on something i mean even one or maybe two pompano if we're catching as many as we are but they're not and so my brain starts thinking you know i try to figure out okay why is that and i think that maybe I've figured it out and I know the reason as to why that is and maybe some of you guys are in that same scenario. I have had a few of you mention that you've been on the beach and you've noticed that other people are catching pompano and you're not. So I'm going to go over my theory and something to help you hopefully catch more pompano in the future. So I'm going to call this theory zone awareness. That's what we're going to name this. We're going to talk about zone awareness. What is your zone awareness when you're surf fishing? What zone are these fish running in? And how do we find that? How do we figure out from day to day what zone they're in? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to diagram two places that I've fished recently and actually fish these places consistently for a week, both times, two completely different places along the Alabama Gulf Coast. And I'm going to diagram it. I'm going to show you how I started fishing it and how that changed throughout the day and how we caught pumping it. So when I'm running guided beach fishing trips, I start out with five rods. Right now during pompano season, you can run five rods. You know, there's not a ton of fish in the surf right now in the way of like ladyfish and blue runners and catfish and the pinfish. They come in in large numbers once these water temperatures get up. So there's not a whole lot of them. It's a lot harder to run five rods sitting on the bottom with shrimp and fish bites when those fish move in because... I mean, it, you can do it, but you're going to be really busy catching a lot of fish and not necessarily the fish that you want to catch. So, But right now, mainly the thing that's out there is pompano and fish that we're trying to catch and the black drum and the redfish. And, you know, we are catching catfish as part of it, but they're not here like in super large numbers like they are in the summer months. So you can get away with running five rods. It's manageable. You can do it. You're not running around like crazy except to catch these pompano. So this is what, my first spot that we're going to diagram, and this is how I started. So when I first showed up to the location, you know, I, I read the beach a little bit. Uh, we've got a bar running. It, it curved out a little bit here, and there's actually some deeper water in this particular location. There's some deeper water right here over the bar. It's not a true cut, but it was a little bit deeper over that bar, if that makes sense, okay, to this area. So that's why I was attracted to this spot. There was a deeper hole right up next to the bar. And so obviously, my thought when we pulled up to this spot and I, and I located it, I'm thinking deeper water, pompano, right? So, you know, I, I, I generally focused on this area. So these are my five rods and these are where I placed them. So I put these two right in that hole in front of the sandbar. So we're not fishing any, any of the backside of the bar because this particular location that I was fishing, that was too far. You, it was not within casting distance. This is in a place in Orange Beach, which if you're familiar with the area, you know that Orange Beach has a, have a, has a bar that's pretty far out, so you can't really cast to the back side of it. So we're fishing all on the front side of the bar in this location, okay? So I put two baits in that hole. I put one on the outside of the hole. I put one really close in, like I'm talking 20, maybe 30 yards off the beach, 
and then one closer to this deeper water over here. So this one's pretty far out. Okay, probably the furthest one out. So I've got all of my baits staggered. And the reason I do this is because I'm trying to find out what zone the fish are going to run in. When I get there, I try to figure, you know, I try to think like where they're going to be. And this, this was my best bet. Like if I had to put money on it when I was out fishing, this is where I would have thought they were. My first bite when we got out there and we moved to this spot after fishing a different spot and we not caught any fish. My first bite was at this bait right here, closest in, 20, 30 yards out. Okay, so we got a bite. We missed the fish, but we got a bite. So, of course, rebait, throw it back out there. Second bite, same spot. Same exact, like I put it in the same spot. We got another bite. We missed the fish again, <laughs> unfortunately. So we put it back out there. Third bite, same spot. This happens a lot of times, okay? And if you pompano fish a lot, you, re you may recognize this, that there's usually this one rod that's getting all the hits, right? If you do this like I do, you, you may recognize that. So we caught, we had three bites, caught one fish, and we go, and I'm going, okay, all right. These fish are not running further out. <laughs> They're much closer in. So what I do, my next move, is I move this one to the same zone as this, okay? So these baits are still out in the water over here, still no bites on this side. I just move this last rod a little closer in because I'm going, okay, uh, my theory here is that these fish are running closer in. The very next bite and fish that we catch, and it's a pompano, I'm kidding you not. If you've seen my pictures, you can trust me. We catch these fish a lot, so you know, uh, was on this rock. Okay, so now we're at two pompano. We've caught two pompano. We've had four bites within about 15 minutes. Okay, so this school is running through. I go, okay, all right. They're definitely running closer in. So I take this rod right beside it because I'm trying to focus in on this area as well. Not, not only this zone, but there could be a food source close to where this first original bait was that they may be congregating to, I don't know. We don't know, we're guessing, okay? But we're trying to figure it out while we're out there. So I take this one, this one was a little bit further out, and I move it in, okay? Same zone. You can probably guess what happened. Next fish was right there, within minutes of moving that bait. I'm not lying to you. Uh, <laughs> you may not believe me, I don't have video evidence of this because I haven't been videoing these trips while I've been testing this theory and while we've been on the beach. But if you've seen my pictures, we've been catching a lot of pompano and it hasn't been a problem. And this is how we've been doing it while we're on the beach is locating the fish and moving and concentrating in that zone. Did not catch a fish out of this hole. Okay. What I did as I go, okay, we're not getting any bites. We're not getting any fish. So I moved both of these. What did I do? Closer in same zone. So now we've got all five baits in the same zone. And guess what happens? We catch more pompano. <laughs> so we start slinging in more pompano. I think in this particular instance, there were other people on the beach. They weren't catching fish. I think what they were doing, because it, it was actually really hard for me to cast all these baits as close in as I was, because it did not feel right just barely tossing them out. It didn't feel right. I believe everybody else on the beach was casting closer to this bar, further out, thinking that they got, a, or even maybe even on the bar, because you can cast onto it, but you just can't cast the, cast the past of it, cast past of it. I think they're just chunking it as far as they can, and they're casting over these fish. So in this particular example, I think that was the case. I fished at this same spot for the following week. Guess where every day these fish were running? The same zone every day. Now, every day I would go out there and I would still stagger some baits just to keep myself honest because it can change. It can change. And so I would still put some further out, but all of our bites, all of our hookups were in this same zone. Okay, this is spot number two that I fished. And I actually fished this same spot at this same beach for an entire week as well with trips that I was taking people on. And it happened more at this particular beach. This was around Fort Morgan. It happened way more that week where there were people fishing close by and not catching any pompano. This whole week, and, and I didn't understand it, and I, and I would walk by because, again, you know, my initial thought is they're not using the right bait, they're not using the right rig, but I realized that a lot of these people were. They were using the same stuff I was and similar rigs, so 
I'm like, they, they should be catching fish, you know, we, and there were days when we fished this spot that we were catching over 30 pompano a day. I mean, we were releasing so many pompano. I mean, we couldn't keep baits in the water because we were just catching them so fast. It was insane. And I'm just thinking, how are they not catching fish, you know, using these, uh, these same baits and same rigs on those. So, um, in this particular example, you can pass, you can cast past the bar in Fort Morgan, the, the bar is much closer to the beach, so you can you can fish on that side of it. So this is how I started the week when I first got out there. Uh, this is where I put my baits. I put one just on the inside of the bar on this side. Now this is pretty shallow water right now in that area, so I wasn't really necessarily expecting pompano. They will they will run here, you know, when it's even when it's real close and real shallow. They will run there sometimes. But mainly was looking for whiting for this particular rod because that's where you're going to catch them a lot of times. And then I put two on the just on the back side of the bar, like just right on, you know, right as that color change of the water as that sloping back. Uh, this is where if I had to put money on it, that's where I would say pompano would be running. Okay, so that's why I focused a couple of baits in that area. I put one just as far as I could throw it on the back side, just long casted it chunked it out there trying to throw it to cuba <laughs> throwing it as far as i can out there and then one i brought in you know in between uh these two baits so not not as far maybe 75 percent uh out my first hit our first bite our first hookup we caught the first fish was on this bait right here okay so i did what i always do and I go, okay, well, that's our first fish. And we're not getting bites in any of these other zones. So I went ahead and I moved our long rod. I moved it in. And guess what happened? We catch a fish right here. And the story goes on. Same thing. I ended up moving all five baits to that same zone. And we were catching 30 stinking pompano. Just more faster than we could. The entire week, this pattern stayed the same for the remainder of that week every day i would go to the same beach i actually set up in a little bit different spots but there wasn't much feature to this beach okay there weren't nice holes there weren't nice cuts it was just this sandbar that's it there were there wasn't any really nice you know noticeable feature to to fish or focus on so really anywhere you set up along this beach because these these pompano they're running you know they're constantly moving they're not sitting in one place you know they're moving up and down the beach you know looking for food, spawning, you know, doing all that stuff. So you're just trying to find where, what area of that beach they're running, what depth they're running at. Because, you know, these are all, of course, different depths, how far you are, because this bar is going to kind of slope out, right? So the rest of the week, every day I would come out, and I just knew, based on the feel of how I can cast my rods, what zone to put it in, and it worked every day for the rest of that week. Now, again... It changes. It can change day by day. It can change after a week. You know, you kind of have to recalibrate this every time you go out and keep that in mind that it can change. You know, it's not going to be that way the next time you go, especially if you're not fishing every day. You know, if you fish once a week or once every couple of weeks, it's definitely going to change. But what I'm trying to help you with is, again, this term that I'm trying to come up with, I guess, is zone awareness paying attention to what zone these fish are running in and the only way you can do that is by staggering your baits now a lot of you may be asking this question because many of you may not have five setups you may not have five rods you may only have one you may only have two it is going to be more difficult to locate the fish in those scenarios but my recommendation would be if you only have one bait is to not let it sit for too long you know, when you get out there, we know that pompano are there. We know that they're biting, which in these examples, we're assuming that, okay? Because there are times of the year that, of course, this ain't going to work because these pompano, they're not running, right? They're not there. So <laughs> you're just not going to catch them. But when they're there and they're biting and they're in large numbers, you should be able to catch them. And if you only have one setup, my recommendation is if you're not getting a bite within maybe 20, 30 minutes, no hookups, no bites, reel it in. Throw it at a different depth, whether that be further out, closer in. Keep track of where you're throwing that bait. Find the bite. When you get a bite, then throw it back. Throw it back in that same zone until you catch fish. You know, again, it's going to be harder to catch the number of pompano. It's going to be harder to find the pompano with less setups. 
but don't leave them in this in, in that same place. You know, recast them out, rebait, rethrow as much as you can. You know, don't let it sit too long. My recommendation would be to have at least three setups because that's going to really give you the opportunity to cover the amount of water that you really need to when you're using uh, surf setups. You know, trying to locate pompano. So if you have three that's going to be your your best option. You know, you don't really necessarily need five, but I'm running five just because I'm taking people out and there's this expectation of we better catch some fish. So I want as many opportunities as I can. So hopefully this helps you guys out. I've been kind of dangling this carrot in front of you. Uh, some of you may be like, Matthew, you're an idiot. I already knew that. Um, but a lot of you may not, you know, may not realize that there is a little bit of science to finding and locating these pompano and then catching a lot of pompano. Uh, you can... You can do it by focusing your effort efforts in on one particular zone once you do locate those fish. So hopefully it'll help you catch more fish. And as always, guys, you stay bummy.